So what do you do? What, what do we do? I'm thinking. Okay. <laughs> you have the well, the question there or there? Ah, 네. 음. 우선 어 소개부터 하자. 안녕하세요, 구기 TV 최병국입니다. 네, 안녕하세요, 탈순반입니다. 네. 오늘은 베트남 아, 형의 네, 박사 이야기를 좀 들려드리려고 영상을 찍게 되었습니다. 그럼 바로 시작하겠습니다. 네. 그러면 먼저 자기 소개 좀 부탁드릴게요. Please introduce yourself. So, hello everybody. Can I speak English? Oh, of course. Yes. Hello, hello everybody. I'm Tai Shun Van. I'm from Vietnam. I went to Korea for around 10 years already. I started a master degree in KAIST and after that I joined a company in Songnam for two years. After that I came back to KAIST for a PhD program. And then because my professor moved to Gwangju Kwahaki Suruan to become the professor, so I followed him and I finished the PhD degree in 2020 and after that I joined the company in Daejeon. Ah, 대학원에 가야 할 특별한 이유가 있었나요? Is there any special reason to go to the graduate school? Uh, the reason was very simple at, at the first. Uh, my friend told me that let's go to abroad and see how the outside world looks like. So that's the first reason. So, okay, but because at that time I had already bachelor degree. So the next and the next understandable step is go to the graduate school. Um, that's the first reason. And okay, the first reason is, it's only for fun. Okay. <laughs> but uh. when I, <laughs> When I, when I went to Korea, especially in KAIST, I quickly recognized that it's not fun, <laughs> okay? Mm. So I kind of have to um, modify my target. At that time, I, firstly, I went to went abroad just for fun. But second, now, at that time, I understand that, okay, it's not the time for fun. So it's the time for, so for really consider our future, uh, my future in the graduate school. And actually, at the first time, it's not, it was not only for fun, but I really like to study more at that time because my field is power electronics. Maybe some of you guys know about power electronics. And I like, I really like the circuits and really like the, how the electric circuit, electric circuit works. So, when I went to Korea, firstly it's for fun, but second, I also want to study more. I know I I also want to learn more about the, the about the knowledge that in my field, and I think that Korea is the developed country, so the education should be better than Vietnam, and they are the uh, developing country. So I think that I can learn a lot from them, and. And after, I thought that after I can get knowledge from such a good school like KAIST, so I can be a good engineer. So, to summary, the second reason is to be a good engineer. Mm. So, to join the graduate school is to, to be a better engineer. But, uh, 처음에는 재미로 이제 대학원을 지나겠다고 했는데, 이제 하다 보니까 이제 목표가 생기고 그렇게 yes. 됐다는 거네요. Yes. Understand? Yeah, understand. 아, 오케이. Okay. Right. 그럼 다음 질문으로 넘어가면 대학원에서는 무엇을 배울 수 있나요? Especially which one can we learn in the graduate school? 아. Yeah. Actually, um, it depends on people. Um, some people learn they they learn different things in the graduate school, but to me I think that the, the best thing I can learn is, especially in, 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 in Korea, is you should, I can endure the hard time. That's the first thing I learned that the hard times always come. In, in a human life, there is always a hard time. And maybe in graduate school, there are many hard times comes and especially you yeah especially when you research something and you cannot find out a good idea 
and you don't know how to study and you don't know how to get well with the colleagues and you don't know how to have a good result in your research mm. that's a hard time how about, how about communicating with professor the communicating with professor is good um, oh. this is but it depends on professor too but I'm lucky that I have a good professor mm. who can who 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 be who is uh, who was a good supervisor to me he does not, he didn't give me the detailed advice like you should do this you should do that in this circuit you should do like this you should do like that no no no, no. i mean that's that's not a supervisor that a mentor but he's a good supervisor because he gave me a big uh, the big the bigger picture mm. or the big insight on how you see the problem and how you find the problem and how you solve the problem. So one of the good things you learn from graduate school is that you know how to deal with the problem and mm. you know how to solve the problem. And you can see and you know how to look into the problem in different point of views. Mm. So when you approach this problem in one way, but it, it leads you to nowhere, then you have to change your way. Mm. And so one thing about graduate school is you can learn how to, you can learn the problem solving skill. Yeah, one thing about graduate school. And the other thing you should learn about graduate school, I think, is that um, after some time when you working in graduate school, your how do I say? Your ambition to learn, your ambition to study should be getting bigger and bigger. Otherwise, you should quit. Because graduate school is kind of the hard environment in terms of researching. And when you do researching, days by days, you try to make a result. and But the result never comes out easily and maybe it takes a long time for the result come out so you should be patient and you should be work hard and work smart as well if you don't have ambition to do that if you don't have the will to do that and if you don't love your job if you don't love your for example the politics i don't think that you can do that mm. uh, even though with a genius guy with a very smart guy but he doesn't like circuit, for example. He'd like to make a businessman, like something like that, business thing. He cannot finish the graduate school in the correct way, I think. Maybe some of the professor will allow him to graduate, but I think that's not true graduate mm -hmm. students. So you should love your job. I mean, right. so the second thing you should learn in graduate school is that whatever you do, Okay, first time is it will be hard, but but you should love your job. You should love your job. Yes. 예를 들면 이제 뭐 전공을 사랑하고 잘하고 싶은 욕망이 있는 사람은 진학해도 좋다. 뭐 이런 얘기인 것 같아요. 아주 제가 아는 몇안 되는 트루 엔지니어 중에 한 명이거든요. 그리고 뭐 다음에는 석사와 박사에 대한 차이점을 한번 물어보고 싶은데요. <웃음> Do you have any comments to difference between the master degree and the PhD degree? Yeah, actually, when when I didn't when I before I joined KAIST, I didn't know the difference between master degree and PhD degree. But because at that time I I was I I only wanted to to get the master degree. But after I got a PhD degree, I can understand the difference. So for the master degree, uh, you, so simply speaking, you don't have to have a journal. You don't have to publish a journal or you don't have to publish a new idea to get a master degree. The master degree is something that to, to that's the diploma, the degree is to prove that you understand uh, your field a little bit deeper than than the undergraduate school and so you can you're and you already practice something 
in your field already with the ma uh, during the master degree. So that means in master degree you don't have to think about new idea, but you you have to verify the knowledge that you learned in undergraduate school, either by experiments, by simulation, and you have to verify the theory that you learned, and then you can get a master degree. You master something that you you've learned. But in the PhD, you you should have something new. You have to make something new. And to make something new, you should understand deeply about what you are doing. You sh for example, if you, if you want to have the PhD degree in power electronics, firstly, you should understand deeply about the power electronics, the circuit that you are studying. Then, but, not, but that's not enough. Understand deeply about that is not enough. Because even the master students can understand deeply about that. But you should have, you can improve that. You have to find a way to improve that, or you have to find a way to make another thing which is better than that, which is a new idea that no one ever come up with. Mm -hmm. So you can make a new idea, and if that idea is practical, is, is that idea is useful, you can make a patent out of it. Or you and you or you write a paper and you send it to the journal and the experts in the journal will review your paper to find out any invalid point of methodology to doing your research and if they found nothing and they they will ask you many questions to question your methodology to do your research mm, paper review you mean. yeah the paper review so after you you get over the paper review, your paper will be published, mm. which means your new idea is already uh, uh, kind of verified mm. by the scientific uh, academy or the engineering academy. Mm. So at that time, it's kind of you, 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 you kind of qualified to get a PhD degree, but, but some professors, actually many professors think that it's not enough. Because uh, you should have uh, many of that kind of papers to prove that you really truly qualified in your field. So, uh, in conclusion, the difference between master degree and PhD degree is new thing. In PhD, you have to come up a new thing. In master degree, you don't have to.